Well, I wanted to earn some extra cash and I love robotics. So naturally, I started selling my feet pick online. <laughs> nah, I started freelancing on Upwork and this is how it went. After making an Upwork account and applying for one whole month, I didn't actually get anything. But then I had the idea of adding Isaac Semenjner into my description and well, it actually worked. Since Isaac Sem is so new and unique, I don't think there are a lot of freelancers. And that's why I think a novice like me actually got the contract. And needless to say, I took it up in a heartbeat. The client actually bought a robotic manipulator and he wanted a digital twin of that and Isaac Sim. And let's get to it. Let's make it happen. So yeah, like I was saying, my client actually bought this exact robotic arm, Mycobot 280. And it's made by an awesome company called Elephant Robotics. And I know it's an awesome company because it makes robot pets like Metadog. And trust me, I've seen these in person and they look just as fluffy. Yeah, back to the topic. So yeah, we are here because I need the URDF of this robot. But wait, what exactly is a URDF you ask? Well, URDF is a special file that actually defines all the joints in a robot and how they connect to each other. So it's like super important for robotics. Like it tells us how far the gripper of an arm is compared to the base of the robot. Or as Google Vio says. And these links and joints are what make up the robot. Hell yeah. URDF is special for robotics cause with just one click, we can import it into Isaac Sim just like that. Now we just need to quickly test it out and get our money. Wait, what? The? Hey, what the fuck? That didn't go well. Well, sometimes there is a problem with closed loop articulation that needs to be solved for Isaac Sim. Once you do that, voila, it's all assembled. Now, all we need to do is test all the joints and then plop it into a nice environment. And we're done. I also added some ROS2 nodes to connect it to ROS2 ecosystem. So yeah, let's talk finances. So after the job was approved by the client, I actually got paid $200 by them. But then including all the cuts from Upwork and TDS and different taxes, I actually ultimately received around 70% of that, which is like $140 into my account. So yeah, that is how it works. Usually it's like 70 to 80% is what I heard that you get from whatever you're quoting your client. So, so yeah. Hey, thank you so much for watching till the end. And now enjoy some behind the scenes. Creepy as Oh, we have to do the surgery thing. I said it's like, do I think it's like, start oh, touching it. It's caress it essentially. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>